Now, the design and creation and production of red dots is growing exponentially. Everybody these days is wanting red dots on their pistols. Uh, they're becoming really popular on the MSRs. We've got a lot of different companies making them. A lot of them are U.S.-based, but here's the deal. Almost all the optics are being made in China. And before people get, you know, on their, their pulpit or their soapbox or whatever, um, you are hard pressed to find any that aren't. Um, so, you know, th that's for a, a whole nother discussion. But I found one here, Goatar. They contacted me. Now, this is designed, produced in China. So there's, there's no U.S. based, um, company. But what we have here is an affordable optic. And the real question is, is what kind of quality is it now for some you're just I, i've already lost you and that's okay others you're like hey you know i want to know what this optic is about well there's only one way to find out let's check it out So I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where it is what it is, and I only give you my honest opinion. So, um, Go Guitar, it, it's new. Um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking it's a startup company out of China. So most of you are going to be like me. You've never heard of Go Guitar. Uh, will we be familiar with that sometime in the future? I have no idea. Um, my purpose with this review is simply to test this and show you whether it is a quality optic or not um how does it perform and we'll go from there let's just start off with taking a look at the specs and tech all right we'll just do a quick unboxing here battery variety of screws like that it's got the cover and then we also have a mount for a picatinny rail or we can mount straight to the pistol all right uh, we'll find out you know audible palpable clicks how well it adjusts oh, don't forget to check in here it has the wrenches that we need for putting it on quick couple things to note here with the battery it does come with a tool. Know how well you can see this. But it is pretty shallow. So you're gonna to want to be careful you don't strip that. And the other thing I'm not I don't really like this is a CR1632. That's not really a typical pistol optic battery. You know, usually we have our CR2032s, uh, which I happen to have a lot of lying around. So if the battery goes dead on this, there's a good chance you might not have one of these laying around. Okay, so we got the battery in, no problem. It's in there nice and tight. Um, we've got a green dot here, there we go. Okay, we will test the shake awake. I did though while I was thinking about it, it has the tool for making the adjustments. And if you're really quiet here, or if I can, we'll see if you can hear it. They are palpable, barely, but audible. Yeah, you can feel it through here. So that's a big plus, palpable and audible click adjustments, which is actually a lot of times hard to find um, with entry-level pistol optics. Okay, let's test the shake wake, see how long it takes. Okay, so it's just getting ready to watch it go off at four minutes. It went off just a little bit early. Let's see, uh, oh wow, it, it's sensitive. Okay, I just actually hit the paper here to the side and it, it came back on. 
that's that's good that's what you want Okay, looks great on paper. Everything always looks great on paper. Um, I've got it here on a BCA BC9. I'm doing a review on that. This seemed like, you know, sort of the perfect optic, optic to try on this. So let's get it zeroed and see what we can do with it. Hopefully this thing doesn't jump all over the place. All right, um, let's go down and take a look at those groups. Okay, real quick here, let's just show you the sight picture that I'm getting here at 50. I'm not sure how well you can see that green dot. It's, it's a really nice, crisp, clean dot. You know, it's not the best ever, and it's definitely not the worst. Um, it does dial in really well. Um, I just finished the last five rounds for the side in. Let's just go take a look at those groups. Oh, hey, you know, that's pretty decent. I started off down here. I came up to here. Um, I had a couple flyers there. Moved over here, over, over adjusted, and then... That last five shots, well, there's four. I'm not sure where the fifth was. Probably a flinch. I'm guessing one of them down there. Yeah, I might just call that good for right now. And let's just see how we can do here at 100 yards. Okay, let's see what we can do at 200. Actually, I'm gonna turn. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel, hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing, not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button, keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I I find them it costs you nothing unsubscribe at any time i have saved folks hundreds even thousands of dollars don't take my word read the comments it works it's awesome and it costs nothing if you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. It'll Check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. There we go. turn this down back here in the trees it's a little bit bright and yeah, that's a little too far down 
There we go. There's 25 yards. That's 50 yards. Nice. All right. That's awesome, guys. You know, well, there you go. I mean, so far, impressive. You know, I'm really happy with it. Is it the most crisp, clean, clear dot that I've ever seen? No. Is it the worst? Not even close. I'd say it's right about in the middle, but so far, I I'm impressed with it. So that brings us to what time? Exactly. It's that time. All right, let's do the drop test. And that is a drop, let me tell you. Yeah, it comes out to about 14 feet, let me tell you. There has been a lot of optics that have failed just the drop test. All right, now it's time to dunk it, submerge it, and see how watertight this really is. Okay, this is my infamous hot tub test. I'm gonna put it in there for 20 minutes. A lot of optics have failed this um so yeah we'll find out all right they've been sitting down there cooking i can see it there where to go still got the green dot there it is i can see it anyway all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna toss it in the freezer okay I'm going to toss it wet and hot because any water in, in little crevices and then expanding is really going to test its toughness. I'm going to let that freeze good and solid. All right. Let's see what we got here. Hey, all right. Well, we still got a green dot. That's that's a good sign. Let's let this thaw out. We'll put it right back on in the exact spot and see if it kept zero. And we will open up the battery compartment. That's a place that I have found. Uh, you can tell if it's been breached. We'll go from there. Okay, guys. So it passed. I mean, it passed the torture test. Um, I did remove the battery cover here. Take a look. Quick, I did want to show you. That I took the battery out because I have had optics um, sort of pass and fail at the same time. They pass and that they keep working, but they were breached by the water, which then, you know, has concerns for, for function down the road. But this is passed uh, with flying colors. There is no water or moisture inside. Yeah, so uh, it stayed dry. It's done fantastic. I put it back on in the exact same spot. And let's see if it kept zero. I mean, that'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay, by all accounts, it would seem that it passed the torture test. Um, it's on other than some water stains on the glass. I put it back on in the exact same spot. You know, let's see what kind of zero it kept. <laughs> well, I would say that that worked. Um, before we finish, we'll open up the battery compartment and make sure everything's dry on the inside, but it's working and it kept zero. There you go, guys. Uh, it is what it is. You decide what you think. Hopefully you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Subbing really does help the most, guys. Until next time, happy shooting. Be safe. Remember, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. And every time that we're out shooting, all eyes are on us, especially these days. Everybody's watching, which means we should be fantastic, outstanding, excellent ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.